Hi everybody, uh, the people of Earth. I'm uh, Alphabot, and this is uh, Chris of Wax Mannequin. Um, joins us here Hello. by the magic of the internets. I'm Wax Mannequin. <laughs> it is. Okay, yeah. and uh, we couldn't decide, uh, we wanted to do like a promotional video for you. But uh, we didn't know exactly what to do, so um, I'm going to teach you and Chris, actually, how to play um, this game that I like to call that game that Andrew and Liz showed us that one time where you draw. It's really... It's I want to know about the game, too. About, so you're going to teach me about the game yeah, yeah, I'm gonna that Andrew and Liz showed you? Exactly. Where I'm you draw. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to show you the game and everybody else. It's going to be tough because I'm going to be explaining just the audio to you so it'll be like a whole another okay. challenge so take a piece of paper then I'll know how to play exactly okay so take a piece of paper okay I got a piece of paper right here and do you have something to write with here goes yep okay All right. I got a marker ah that's that that will do anything that makes a mark and you take the piece of paper and and do you know how to do like an accordion fold where you fold one like piece down and then fo fold the other back. It's like a Venetian blind. Yeah, I can do that. To this is, but this piece of paper is a Union gas bill. Is that okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. And uh, that might actually be better. Okay. I've, okay. So you you make your you make your Venetian blind folds. That's I did that. that's it's a thing that you use to blind a person from Venus, like an accordion. Okay. So you joke part of the game? Yeah, no. <laughs> but no, joke. Okay. <laughs> jokes are often part Sorry, of my games. I don't know. That's okay. Sometimes jokes are part of the game. Sometimes jokes are part of the game. Okay. So after you've got your your paper folded, so it should look like a whole bunch of W's or consummate V's, if you will. Well, like if you hold it. Could you say that again? The, oh, sorry. The internet is um. Yeah, the I internet is. The, because I can't hear you because of the internet. I hate the internet. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> okay, so after you folded your paper like an accordion, it will appear. Okay, I did that part. So the next step is, uh, the the game, the point of the game is it's like Pictionary and broken telephone. So you start by, um, you have one fold of the paper visible, the very top fold, and you will write and you'll write a sentence on the first fold any sentence you want okay what sentence? I don't know, something descriptive something like um, a fan is powered by electricity or something that's what I'm gonna write okay so after you've written your sentence open it so that you can see one more section of the page. So now you can see you can see your sentence and the flat space underneath that. Yeah. And you, you pass this to a friend. Do you have a friend there? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I can. I can. It's it's okay if you don't. We'll just pretend because we're just like teaching people how to play. Just pretend I have, I, mean, I was doing that, I was pretending I have a friend here. Oh, okay, well you're way ahead of me. Pretending I have, pretending I have friends. <laughs> I pretend I have friends all the time. Okay, so then yeah. you, you pass it to your friend and your friend reads your sentence and draws a picture based on what the sentence says. So okay, that's nice. Yeah, they draw, they draw a picture that describes the sentence. Okay. Okay, so... That's a nice game. I'm just... Okay. Drawing. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. okay, so I've drawn my fan that's powered by electricity. And then what your friend does is your friend folds the paper so that the space underneath their picture is visible, but your sentence is not. Right. Okay. Just the pictures. Just the pictures visible. Yeah, just the picture and a space for someone else. See, and then they pass it to one of their friends. 
and and the next person writes a sentence that describes the, that describes the picture. I don't even think I understand this game. So, yeah. Uh, this is good. So, so basically, it's like monkey in the middle with the tele with the telephone. <laughs> yeah. So you you know the game progresses and the more times like the the more people you have and the more folds you make like the sillier and sillier it's gonna get right because someone might think your picture is something and that it's not at all and someone right. yeah it's like it's a picture form of broken telephone essentially right. which, which is really cool and the more people yeah good yeah uh, so I'm gonna post um uh, a link to some of my favorites that uh, my friends and I uh, did just last night um, so people can see them and Chris, if Chris has time, he'll post some of his and we'll, um, we'll work it I'll out. Send so you, yeah, I'll send you a, a, a picture of the one I just made. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, and then, um, so you guys at home can all try this uh, game out and it um, should be a lot of fun. They, they could send their pictures in too. That would be or great. Bring them to the show. Oh, that they would be awesome. To the show. If anyone brings um, their um, picture from the game that Andrew and Liz taught us, uh, you'll get a mystery prize. And we'll, we'll have... Well, you know what, and I'll give you... You get a mystery prize, and I'll give them a prize that I'll tell them about right now. Oh. What's, what's a the... A crystal. A crystal? A crystal. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. If you bring uh, your picture to the show, then you'll yeah, you'll get a mystery prize and um, and a crystal. Hopefully, Chris has enough. And your friend, you and your friend. Oh yeah, you and your friend. Okay, well that that's all for now. Um, so I'll um, we'll see you guys at the show. Okay, bye. Thanks. Thank you. Pretty good game. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye.